going to be the show that you thought because we had a few people maybe not show up. But you know what? We always have a plan B and a plan C here on Pet Profiles. So don't you worry. It's going to be an amazing show. Our first guest is a fill-in tonight, guys. Our first guest, Rose, is not feeling good. We wish her well. She has food poisoning. Unfortunately, she couldn't make it today, but she's an amazing streamer, and we love her very much. Katie, thank you. But luckily, a future Pet Profile star is here, and she's here to give us a little preview of her pet family. She's a great streamer. She's well-loved here on the app. And just like your boy Moore, she got some blue eyes. And we all say hello to her right now. Her name is Blue-Eyed Hippie. Oh, hi, guys. Hi. How are we doing here tonight, Miss Blue-Eyed Hippie? You are looking oh, fabulous, by the way. Thank you. I'm doing great. I know where I'm going to be Sunday. I'm not missing your show, that's for sure. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So we've talked, Blue Hit Eyed Hippie, about setting you up. Now, originally, and we're still going to go through with this, you are scheduled for our June 9th show to show all of your amazing you, – she's, guys, if y'all – she's going to be on our future show, guys. She's got, like, donkeys, horses, hyenas, giraffes. She's oh. got, like – she's got, like, a whole ranch, and we're going to get to meet all of them in, a, on, in about a month and a half. Hyenas but, or giraffes, but hey. <laughs> you know, something like something like that. You something know, what like I mean? that. We got some stuff. We got some stuff. But one of the staples of our show is dogs and cats, and I've heard you have some of those too. So I think, why don't we? Before we get to know all the extra animals, let's get to know the dogs today. Yeah, they're ready. I have their treats right here. So he's just like, why do you have these out and you're not giving them to me? Come right. on. So I have two dogs. I have Journey and Conquer. And they are dachshund, half dachshund, half Yorkie. Okay. So I, I, I decided to name them Yoxins or Dorkies, but I'm more with the Yoxins. Um, I like the Yoxins. They're amazing. I got them from one of my coworkers. One of my, my dog that I had for 12 years, she passed away. And um, I waited like a year in between passing. And I was like, no, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. And one of my coworkers sent me a picture of Conker and as a little baby puppy. And I was like, oh my God, I have to have him. So I went to get him and I saw his sister and I was like, ooh, I have to have her too. So I went to get one and I ended up getting two since I have such a busy career. I thought, you know, it's good to have, you know, they have friends and someone to play with. Come here, Journey. Come on. There's what treats. Come on. You're like, what is your problem, Mom? Why are you being so weird? I'm curious to see what I've never seen a dachshund Yorkie, so I'm very curious to see what she is. It, it's a she, right? Or he? This, this is Conker. He is, it's a he, right? He's a he. Okay. He is so cute. This is little Mr. Conker. You know what's yeah. funny? Is it just me? He doesn't look like a Yorkie or a dachshund, but when they you when you combine him, it's almost, it, almost like it creates his own breed almost and then this is journey journey now journey looks like a full dachshund Jer they same mom same dad same womb really same, same litter yeah guys it, is it just me or they don't they don't look alike to me but they but there's their brother and sister huh mm -hmm. yeah wow you know and then my coworker still has their brothers and sisters and sometimes we get them all together and it's just crazy because their their siblings are bigger than them and have like wiry hair. It's wild, but yeah. <clears throat> so, do, okay, a question I always ask because I don't get to ask this question very much because it doesn't usually happen. So they're sib they're like siblings, right? Brother and sister. So, do you feel like they know that they're siblings? Do they act like they're siblings, or yeah. do you think that they're just? So, I, what about the way they interact makes you think that they know that they're siblings? It's how they cuddle. Like they cuddle with each other, they lay on each other, they walk on each other, they they play only they how they play with each other, they don't play with my sister's dogs or my mom's dogs or my friend's dogs the same way they do with each other. They bite each other's like the back of their legs and take each other down. Like Journey, Journey will take him down. She's like, so, uh-uh, brother. So Journey is the alpha of the two what you yeah i know you you see it sit 
Good boy. Speak. Speak louder. Louder. He's so sweet. Oh, I dropped it. Your sister's going to get it. And then, so he does some stuff, but she does nothing. So Journey, so Journey is, is Journey the alpha of the two? Um, yeah, I would say in some ways, <clears throat> she, you would think that she isn't, but I would say she is. Yeah. She's more of like the adventurer and like her name totally fits her. So I named them Journey and Conquer because I always figured, you know, they can journey the horizon and conquer the world. And it's the hippie, that. it's the hippie in me. I always like love those names. And uh, he loves to conquer the couch. He's a lazy little chub chubs. And she wants to be outside just chasing squirrels and just like right. protecting the property. Like she is a little journeyer. She's just on the journey. I feel like journey and conquer are like split sides to my own personality. Like, like journey is like who I am after if I've had my coffee, if I've gotten on top of my day and, <laughs> and, uh, conquer is who I am on Sundays, basically after I get home from church, I just want to sit home on the couch. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to chill. Shake, 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 shake. Will you shake? Give me your paw. Good boy. There you go. Sit? Good girl. That's all she'll do is sit. So originally you 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 wanted to wait a little bit. So what sold you on these two puppies? What sold you? I mean, like, you know, I, you didn't feel like originally that you were ready to adopt, but then you're like, ah, I got to pull the trigger on these two. I really like, I really wasn't ready. Here, let me turn it back to, there we go. I really wasn't ready. I travel a lot. I'm always going to Yosemite and Joshua Tree and I'm hiking and I'm camping. And I was looking for like a collie. Like I was looking for like a border, like, you know, one of the like the, the camping dogs, the hiking dogs, the dogs, high energy. So I was like really like, like just taking my time doing research on <laughs> shepherds and certain breeds. And when I got the text message with his little face and his little, you know, picture, I was just like, oh, I was sold. I just, I couldn't, let me pull their pictures and their puppies. See, that's the reason why I do not visit the animal shelter. Okay. Cause I've always said that Sobaka, I, I, I kind of want like to get a sibling or like a little friend for Sobaka, but I know for a damn fact, as soon as I walk into that animal shelter, I am not going home alone. I know it for a fact. So that's why. So here's Conker when he was a puppy. How do you not fall in love with that? How do you not? You love know, that? and he had like these little, you know, and then here's Journey. Look at how little she was. Oh my God. Oh my God. Precious. Absolutely precious. So little. And I just, you know, I, I honestly, <clears throat> I had had my dog for 12 years and I was in a hurry one morning. And I let her go outside to go potty and she was getting older and she was, didn't listen as well. And she wasn't on a leash and she ran to the neighbor's dog. It happened to be a pit bull and he attacked her and he, he killed her. And I wasn't ready God. for, I was just like, I'm not going to get an animal. You know, like I, it was horrible. She was my everything. She was like my first baby. She was like my, my, my love. So it took me a really long time to even just open up to the fact of like replacing her, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, um, it was really hard. And when I saw his face, like I had been to animal shelters. I volunteer at animal shelters. I do a lot of volunteer work with animal shelters. And I'm also part of a couple of animal organizations. And um, I had scoured different counties looking and I was just like, nope, 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 nope. And then his little picture came from somebody I knew. And I was just like, oh, I have to. So yeah, that's, that's what happened. Can, can can we see them one more time? I want I, I want to see them one more. Time. I'm sorry. I'm having I'm already having withdrawal because they're so cute. They're so cute. So <laughs> I gotta ask you. I know this is a little off topic. So you said I, I I know that you said your neighbor. Whatever happened between you and your neighbor, if if I may ask, if if you know my what, neighbor with the pit bull. Right. Um, nothing happened because it was my fault for not having my dog on the leash. You know what I'm saying? Like, realistically, like, what am I supposed to do? I can't have this beautiful creature put down when he's, she was just protecting her area and my dog wasn't leashed. And, you know, 
the moral of the story is, is make sure your dogs are on leashes, right. you know, because you never know, even when that you think they're friendly, if they're in that mood of protection, right. You know, um, I did memorialize puppers. I'll show you right here. So this is her collar and her, her paws. These were actually her paws. They, they printed her paws for me. They, um, Oh, wow. So that's something you can do. A lot what of people, a neat idea. A lot of people don't think about, you know, you can always have your dog's paws inked. Yeah. I've never thought of that. What an amazing idea. Guys, yeah. if you're just if you're just joining us, this is Pet Profiles, and we are here with Blue Eyed Hippie. Blue Eyed Hippie is actually going to be uh, featured on a future show with all of her plethora of animals, but she's just showing us her dogs today as a little sneak preview. Um, how do your dogs fit in with your with? Because you have a very how many animals do you have total, including your dogs? So there's three horses on the property. Two are ours and one belongs to the ranch hands. And then we have two goats. We have six, eight dogs, two cats, two donkeys. Yeah. That's a lot. So these are just two dogs. So where are the other six dogs? Well, so my parents live in the main house on the property. Okay. And they have four dogs. Okay. Two of the dogs... I rescued that I've they've been in our family for a very long time and then the ranch hands live on the property as well and they take care of the animals and they have two dogs two cats and one horse they're just so cute how how much do you spend or how, do you guys spend on food and for your animals oh my for gosh my, I my I can't even um that's a really good question. I can get all, I can calculate all that and, and let you know for the next one. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the next question is, is how much poop do you actually like have to like? So if you think about the horses drop like six to eight a day. So you have, I mean, that's a lot, like there's a lot. And then like the dogs, like I, I am going around the property doing dog poop pickup at least once a week. And the ranch hands, you know, are in charge of, the horses and the goats so they they do that daily that's a day that's a daily responsibility how much time does it take you to clean up all the poop just per day how um if I, if, I was to do, if I was to do all of it in one day it would probably take me a good hour hour and a half it's a lot of poop it is it's a lot of animals <laughs> that's uh, why we have, that's why we have help how do your how do the dogs fit in with the dynamic of all the animals like so for most of us who have dogs like i have a dog she's absolutely doing nothing right now other than just laying on the on the pillow over there um how how much what is the most of us don't have all these other animals so so what how is the dynamic different with a dog when when um when you have all these other animals to share your attention with um, you know, the donkeys are very self-contained and they don't want to have any attention for anything. The goats are kind of on their own too. The dogs, I, I, these are mine. So I give them the most attention. And when I go into the main house, I hang out with the other dogs and they come over here and my dogs go over there, but it's, it's, it's ours. I mean, I have two cats as well in here with the dogs. So they take up a lot of attention. Even when I'm sleeping, they're taking my attention. They're like both on one side of me, like taking up my bed. <laughs> hey you know so Bach, i bought sabaka my sabaka's bed is actually more expensive than mine and i actually that was on purpose so i would not have to share the bed with her because like i i can't do it so your more power to you oh yeah i i definitely um they are they are spoiled now you know if there was another person in my bed they would have to sleep on the couch just hey, you know what i <laughs> hey boss lady thank you i feel that single life hits me like right in right in the right in the gut so i feel you on that one um but we ain't this is not Moore's uh loneliness hour if y'all need any help <laughs> in that kind of regard i encourage you to uh, tune into love quest tomorrow at 10 p.m eastern 7 p.m pacific uh um, I don't think that's where i go to get help love because quest, we, but we ain't here for tomorrow. that 
We ain't here for that. We are here for the animals. All right. So before we move on to our next guest, um, I have a few questions that I love to ask all our dog and cat owners. Do you have a, a few minutes to, a, to answer some, some fun questions? All right. Let's go. Fun questions. Woo, woo, woo. All right. So number one, what in what ways are you, Blue-Eyed Hippie, like Conquer and Journey? Um, I would say they're sweet. They're really sweet dogs. And they have a really good adventurous spirit. Like when I take them camping or hiking, they're just like, Whew, what's this? What's this? What's this? So like their ADD kind of matches mine. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I, 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 I've never taken Sabaka camping. Um, mm -hmm or hiking i kind of want to uh yeah. i just really feel like she would just wander off and a crow or an eagle would just swoop in down and get her so i'm a little nervous about that just take uh, her on a leash and you'll be fine <laughs> good talk, good talk. uh if 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 conquer and journey could speak english for just a moment and you could ask them one question what would it be am i doing a good job so why that question Cause I want to know how they feel. Like, could I do better? Like, do I give you enough attention? Like, do I love you enough? Do I hug you enough? Do I cuddle you enough? Ooh. Are you happy? Are you I like that. You know, that's actually the number one question. Whenever I ask that question is like, do, do you love me? Am I doing a good job? It's like, we need that validation from our pets. We, we know that we're doing a good job, right? But we want, we really want that. You know, uh, I did a, um, a TikTok. I've only done one TikTok ever. And it was a, it was a, um, peak. It was a, on my dogs and it was them and it was like hello dog i am your human it was really cool but uh, yeah and then i erased it because i was like i'm so lame <laughs> okay so what is one thing about conquer and journey that you don't like or that you would change if you could um journey when we go to the dog beach she is hesitant and walks behind like behind my feet as she's scared sometimes and timid and um conquer is a little lazy definitely gotcha um okay this is the last question i have for you and this is a question that divides a lot of us here on pet profiles mm. and people take a side dun, dun, dun. and i have a side i'm usually in the minor on the Justin already knows the question is your pet a pet to you or are your pets a child to you? I would say they're like my children. Okay. Thank you, Blake. Thank you. Yeah, they're like they're like my little fur babies. So guys, as always, comment I give me your vote in the comment section. Is your pet a pet or is your pet a child to you? I mean, look at Blake, it. Like you don't even have a pet. <laughs> Get out of here. But here's the thing, I don't have children. So if I had, I have a classroom full of them, but I don't have kids of my own. And my sister always says it's very different. Like when you have kids, like there's a very drawn line. But until I have that experience. Right, right. You yeah. don't know, right? Yeah, I don't know. So See, I get flack all the time because I say Sabaka, who I love very much. She's, she's near and dear to me. She's over here sleeping on the couch. Um, I love her to death, but at the end of the day, she's she is my she's my pet. Like I'm not like she's not my child. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't advertise this since I'm the host of Pet Profiles. I would say like like that's why I call them fur babies, like my fur babies, because child is like children are children. Right. For animals, you know what I'm saying. So, but have I mean, you ever have, have you ever had a birthday party for your for your pet? No. Okay. Well, then I feel like you're in safe territory then. Yeah. No, I haven't. But um, I have like outfits for them. They have Halloween costumes. That's okay. I have uh, <laughs> it, it, I have a, a reindeer costume for Sabaka, and she looks adorable every year. So uh, I'm They're with you on that one. Year. Guys, if you have not favorited Blue Eyed Hippie, please do it now. She's going to be a future star. Guys, she did a – and, guys, I want to see everybody right now in the comment section say thank you or thanks. Blue Eyed Hippie literally agreed to fill in for a, a cancellation at the very last moment. So please, everybody, say thanks or thank you in the comment section. No she filled in. She did an amazing job. She literally had 
like less than two hours heads up and she agreed to fill in. She's going to be on a future episode where we're going to get to see all of her other animals, her donkeys, her horses. We're so excited. Thank you so much, Blue Eyed Hippie, for filling in. Bye, guys. Thanks for You're having awesome. Hey, guys, hit her with the favorite. She's awesome. Well, well, what an amazing start to our show, guys. We always have a plan B and a plan C here on Pet Profiles. Guys, I'm not here. I'm not here to like brag or anything, but even if all three of my guests canceled, I would still have a show that would last a whole hour for you guys. And part of that is our next segment. Our next segment, Mystery Mom. Thank you for letting me know what it is. It's called, and I'm so excited for this. It's called Pets in the News. Wait. Now, guys, I don't know if you guys listen, we're not going to get political here. But apparently Joe Biden tonight at some point during his first ever address to Congress mentioned his dog. And it was the first ever time a president has ever addressed his own pet during a joint during a joint address to Congress. I'm not getting political, but I'm just saying that's pretty cool. It's the first time a pet's ever been in an address to Congress. You know what I mean? I don't even know what it said. Someone texted me this. I just think it says, you know that they he mentioned his dog during this. I'm like, okay, cool. Anyways, guys, I'm so excited, guys. You definitely want to stay for Pets in the News because there is something in Pets in the News that could earn you $20,000. So you definitely want to stay. There's something in Pets in the News today that could earn you $20,000. No joke. No joke. All right. First story of Pets in the News. It's pretty cool. Uh, so this orphaned polar bear was discovered in Siberia by uh, a group who of researchers who were basically mining gold. Guys, so there's this baby polar bear who they discovered that the mom must have died. This polar bear was like very, very young, like brand new, must have been a brand, brand new baby. This polar bear what, kept coming to these miners um not miners like little children miners like who are gold mining gold they came to these miners campsite and cut like begging for food now normally if you don't know this it's actually illegal to feed uh uh wild bears in uh in in europe and asia but this 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 um this 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 bear was so young that if they had not done this, it would have died. So this mine, these miners fed this this polar bear, saved its life, and this polar bear is acting like a dog, and actually cuddles with them at night. You can go. This is on the New York Post, y'all. Google this story. Hey, bonus, and like it literally acts like a like a like a little dog who cuddles at night. So y'all, pl- check check this out. Just Google orphan polar bear siberia it's the cutest thing in the world i forgot to turn off the sound my bad everybody but you know what baby shark is technically fits in with the theme of pet profiles let's be honest uh it is a shark let's be honest so thank you chris for that um but anyways y'all can google the story it's a great story um this story is so cool i'm i can't wait to tell you this guy's story this story is so cool I'm just. I just want to read. What's up, Jameson? I want to read the the title of this story before I actually tell you what happened. Drug runner's cat caught trying to sneak in par- narcotics into Panama prison. So there is this guy who's in prison in Panama who taught his cat to sneak in drugs. No joke. This is this is a real story. You guys can look at the cat, the the drug the drug lord trained his cat to they 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 the Ali says whatever works. They strap some some like a mixture of cocaine and marijuana onto this cat, and it snuck into the prison. And for months, it actually got away with it. 
They said it was the perfect crime. Per perfect crime. Get it? Because cats purr, and it was the perfect crime. All right. You know what, guys? Whatever. If anybody is anybody interested in vacationing in Hawaii, are there any pet lovers who are interested in va vacationing in Hawaii? Well, there's a few pet resorts. Uh, Hawaii apparently has got a uh, abundance of foster dogs. So for a nominal fee, if you miss your pet while you're at home, you can for a very nominal fee, which is actually very, very, very small, you could actually have a pet in your resort room when you go to Hawaii. That's right. Hawaiian resorts are hosting shelter dogs that guests can stay with. So if you miss your furry friend when you're going to Hawaii for a very small fee, and I'm saying less than $10, it's like $7 or $8, and they pay for the dog's food, they pay for the dog's I guess crap bags or whatever. You can actually have your a little furry friend with you when you vacation in Hawaii. Isn't that cute? Now, as for me, listen, I love my dog Sabaka. I love you over there. She ain't even listening. She's checked. She's checked all the way out right now. But as for me, when I go to Hawaii, I ain't trying to take care of no dogs. Listen, I'm not paying seven dollars either. You can pay me seven dollars and I'm trying to relax while I'm in Hawaii. I'm ain't trying to listen. Maui does not fit in with anything that I'm trying to do with pets. I love my dog, but I'm trying to relax right now. Anyways, but if you're one of those people who miss your dog so much of the fact that you cannot live without your furry friend and you want some kind of animal interaction, you can now stay with the dog at a lot of Hawaiian resorts. Just just Google Hawaiian resorts with free with with i'm sorry with uh, shelter pets there's a lot of them doing yeah rent a dog basically now as we also love to have there's a we always love to have a pet reunification story here on pets in the news um a pet now this dog was reunited with his owner after five years on the street now is any has anybody here ever pet sitted before who has ever pet sitted for a dog or a cat or any other pet in? Uh, any other pet has anyone ever pet set before imagine how you would feel if this happened to you so a guy in massachusetts by the name of De david parsons left his beloved dog bay his dog was bay b-a-y not b-a-e this isn't gross b-a-y his dog bay it was who was a basenji dog he left his dog with a pet sitter and the dog got out the dog got out and was gone for five years. Five. Imagine how bad you would feel. Imagine how bad you would feel if your dog got out. I mean, if you if you were pet sitting and the and the person who's pet sitting you were pet sitting for, they you lost their dog for five years. Jesus. Anyways, but finally, a neighbor after five years found the dog crapping on its lawn so a neighbor identified the dog as the dog that his neighbor had been looking for for years and said isn't this your dog crapping in my lawn and somewhere in massachusetts and so they took a picture they 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 set a trap for the dog they kept they got the dog they called the owner and the don the owner's like yeah that's my dog i don't know how but the dog found its way back to the neighborhood and was crapping on the neighbor's lawn. And thanks to the dog's crap, they were reunited. Isn't that poop? Poop, ladies and gentlemen, reuniting pets with pet owners. You know? You know? Moral of the story, shit happens. All right. Last story. I promised you guys that there's a chance for you to have 20 thousand dollars who wants twenty thousand dollars here in the chat if you want twenty thousand dollars i want you to say me right now who wants twenty thousand dollars well first of all it ain't gonna come from me how <laughs> just said drugs i'm freaking dead okay so your dog could be paid twenty thousand dollars to be a doggy beer tester that's right doggy beer tester anheuser-busch 
is releasing their first ever beer for dogs. Don't worry for all you pet lovers out there. It's non-alcoholic. Why are they doing this? Well, they're trying to market to Generation X and millennials who want to have a beer and crack a beer and they're single. They don't have anyone in their life except for their pets. Shout out. And they just want to crack a cold one with their dog. So Anheuser-Busch is now testing doggy beer. And there, if you apply and your dog is chosen, you can get compensated $20,000. So, so Baca, I hope you're ready to get you know what faced because daddy needs to pay for these renovations to his condo. The insurance company is trying to cheat me and I ain't trying to have it. So listen, if you please, she said, leave her alone. Listen, I need money. And if this means that I can get, get $20,000, the, the problem is the, the money actually goes to your pet and it's some kind of weird legal thing. I read this article twice the act, the money actually goes to your pet. I don't know. We've had stories on pets in the news of of people leaving like money to their pets, inherited to their pets. I don't get it. But no, it's not in your name. It's literally in your pet's name. And I'm not making this up. Uh, anyways, um, there's they've already had their first trial run, and they expect that their first doggy beer will sell out within the first week. So if you want to get on the ground floor of uh of doggy beer and possibly earn a little side in passive income in the process go to anheuserbusch.com and i guess apply for doggy beer anyways guys every week pets in the news is brought to you by a featured show here on me slash scout slash plenty of fish slash coming soon zeus this week's pets in the news is brought to you by stumped every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern 8 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific. Pets in the News this week is brought to you by Stump, hosted by Ren Higgs. Stump is Meet Me's premier trivia show, so please tune in every Tuesday that you have some time to kill. If you want to see a cool uh, Stump show, if you've gotten your fill of mental health for the for the week and you've 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 seen in, in it together with Gabby, we are also in another amazing show this week. Uh, Pets in the News is brought to you by Stumped with Ren Higgs. Anyways, guys, this has been Pets in the News. That's right. Pets in the News, y'all. It's one of my favorite parts of the show. Anyways, uh, by the way, Taj, are you in the chat anywhere? Taj, are you in the chat anywhere? Taj is one of our featured guests here today. I'm hoping he's here. I'm hoping he's here. Taj going once. Taj going twice. That's okay. Like I said, always a plan B, always a plan C. Our next guest is an amazing streamer. She's beautiful inside and out, and her streams are lit. What more could you want from a from a guest on a featured show? I don't know. Um, but she's here and she's going to meet introduce us to her pet. So I'm pretty excited about it. Her name is Creep Show Kimber and she has requested the box already. So I'm excited. Y'all please give it up for Creep Show Kimber. Hello everyone. Hello Miss Kimber. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. My my Reese's has been watching the show. She's been staring up and watching it every now and then. So she's doing good. I'm like, hey, you know <laughs> what? I appreciate that she is one of the 504 guests here with us today. We appreciate every guest here on Pet Profiles. Yes. So tell us a little bit about Reese's. Yep. Okay, Reese's. tell us a little bit about Reese's. Um aka trash bag kitty so i had a friend Dave, yeah <laughs> i had a friend david and he moved from kansas to here and he left a bunch of his stuff back in kansas so he what and where is here where is here for you oh i'm sorry in new jersey 
Okay, gotcha. <laughs> go ahead. Yes. Uh, so we went on a road trip because he left a bunch of his stuff at a friend's apartment, went out there. We went to the friend's apartment and it was a mess. These people had lasagna in the sink that was overgrown with stuff and there were like 25, 30 different animals. So they handed me a bag of his stuff in a trash bag, one of those big black, you know, trash bags. So I'm holding it like this and there's a little kitten that's going around my feet, right? There's a little tiny kitten that's like sniffing around my feet. And I'm like, okay, let's see. Can we distract somebody? Let's see if we can distract somebody. So he distracts his friend and I'm like, oh, oh, I have to tie my shoe. Yeah, okay. So I go down, grab the kitten, put her on top of the clothes in the bag. And I'll be like, okay, I'll wait for you outside. So, so I rescued her <laughs> from a terrible, terrible, terrible situation. And now she's here with us today. I'm so glad that you were able to rescue her. How old was she when she, when you rescued her? Oh my God. I, I don't even know. Uh, she was like that little. So she was, she that was little. young. She was young. Yeah. And she ran away. And she, Reese okay. is coming. Reese is, I just, she's, this is your time to shine girl. Come here. She likes the brush. So the brush here. I, my oh, hair yeah. likes the brush. <laughs> my hair likes the brush too. You guys, my my hair is very very tailored for every show. Um, Absolutely. So does, <laughs> does how long have you had uh, Reese's? She's thirteen. Whoa! Wait. So you've had her for like over a decade. Yeah. Wow. She's okay. Thirteen gonna, years old. This is going to completely change the trajectory of where I'm going with this. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> you got you had to have had some pretty crazy stories if you've had a pet for over 10 years so tell me something some interesting things that have happened with Reese's over the course of uh, her life um she beat up the neighbor's dog she's escaped one night and my no neighbor has no offense to Spaka, but some some little yappy dogs your dog is not yappy so, so oh Spock is not included but uh -huh. Little yappy dog, she escaped and apparently she like got into one of those like slap fights with the neighbor's dog. The neighbor ran inside, my cat chased him through the doggy door inside. So we got her back, <laughs> but she so wanted how, to beat up the neighbor's puppy. How bad did she beat up the puppy? Like, was it injured or was it just like- No, a, there was what, no it was, injury. It was, it was probably like a slap fight. It was just a slap kind of fight? a flex. Like, don't mess with me, bro. Like. Like I yeah. like this is this is my yard, right? Yes, absolutely. I, does she do well with? But, does she has she ever interacted with any other cats or any other dogs? Um, no, she's pretty much just been my baby here. Do you mind just for? She hasn't had much interaction. Can we get a close up of her because she has got such amazing color to her. I just want to. I just want to show everybody this just for a moment. You're doing a great job, by the way, of keeping her in the frame. But I just, for a second, want to get a close up of her if we can because she is just. Look at that color. Is that not beautiful? She's trying to attack the phone. <laughs> Reese's. Say I'm hi. A, You're always so I'm talkative. Assuming, I'm assuming you you named her Rita Reese's because of her color, or was there? Yeah, she reminded me of a peanut butter cup. It's just, I mean, look at that color. I mean, that's just, it's, it's almost like one of those tie-dye machines that just like perfectly blends like random colors. I mean, she's just absolutely gorgeous. She wants me to keep brushing her. That's why she keeps slapping me. <laughs> okay. And then My she'll brush herself. My ex used to do the same thing, you know, eventually <laughs> he's got to deal with She'll it. She'll just brush herself for like ever. <laughs> and, you know, so is, is she friendly? Uh, is she a troublemaker? Tell us about her personality. She is probably the friendliest cat I've ever met. She thinks she's a dog. Like she, you can, she tries to hold conversations with you. She yells at you when she's hungry. <laughs> Damn, I, I, so it sounds like my ex, my ex used to do the same thing. More take <laughs> me to Chick-fil-A, more take me to Wendy's, more take me to Chipotle. Like, honestly, anyway, but this is not about me and my, my psychological yeah. issues. This is about, 
This is about you and your your beautiful cat. Um, yeah. I love. I, she's just so pretty. I just like honestly, I can't get over her colors. Yeah. So no, she wants to brush herself. It. Okay, okay, okay. You've obviously <laughs> had her for a long time. She's yeah, fourteen or thirteen. Thirteen. So what would you say? What would you say to new cat owners in order to ensure a long and healthy life? Um, just make sure they're active. I know a lot of like cats are known for being lazy and they get overweight. So make sure like you're feeding them the right amount and what they should have for their, their fur and their coat, but just make sure they're active. Cause the second they stop running around and chasing toys in the middle of the night is when they start getting lazy and health issues. But yeah, yeah. keep them active. Yeah. And then maybe they won't run around in the middle of the night and wake you up. <laughs> well, see, that's my biggest. So, okay. So here are my concerns. So are, are you, would you consider yourself a cat person? Um, I, I mean, wasn't I until I got her. So, okay. So here's my thing. I think a lot of us identify as either dog people or cat people. Right. And I'm firmly yeah. identified as a dog person. And the reason is this, is so Baca, I can put her in her crate or I can put her in her bed. She'll leave me alone at night. She won't, she won't bother me. But cats, I feel like they destroy your property. They are, they, you know, they, they, they demand attention when you need, when you, you, you need your space. So sell me on being a cat person. Why should I be a cat person? What, what are the benefit pros as opposed to the cons of cats? Um, I mean, if people have super busy lifestyles and they're not home all the time and they don't have time to walk a dog or, you know, they dog needs a ton of attention. So if you're active and you're not home, then I would say the cat is the perfect person for you as soon as we can find out where she ran away to. <laughs> um, also, she's a good companion. I mean, she's, I know dogs are this way, but she is also knows when you're upset she'll come and lay on your lap and she also has a personality though i've met tons of cats that don't have personalities and she is just full of personality and she seems very affectionate as well she is very much so so i mean but I she's very that, spoiled of course, of course maybe that's i don't know maybe that's why that, that probably helps with the affection i don't know <laughs> Uh, it, it didn't help my ex. I spelled her to death and I didn't get any. But anyways, again, we're not talking about tomorrow. If you need help with these things, like me, tune in to Love Quest tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern. We're not going into that today. Um, all right. So how is there a way to tell early on if the dog is – I mean if the cat is going to be affectionate or not? Um, I'm honestly not sure. My, I, I've had cats before her. And they were not that affectionate. They were like, okay, I'm going to come and right. pretend I love you until you feed me, and then I'm going to run away. Right. This one <laughs> this one just wants all the attention in the world. And if, if you have company, if she's not getting the attention from you, she will hop in your friend's laps, your mom's lap, your brother, your sister, your third cousin removed. It doesn't matter. She will hop in their lap, and she will get the attention that she needs one way or another. That's awesome. Guys, if you're just yeah. joining us, this is Pet Profiles, and we're here with Creep Show Kimber and her adorable dog Reese's. I'm a cat. dog. <laughs> I, I, cat I had, I had, I had, I had a few drinks before the show. I, I have it every show to loosen me up, guys. Give me a break. I know the difference between a dog and a cat, 99% yeah. of the time. Um, <laughs> is there anything else about Reese's you would like to share with us? Um, well, the m best memory I have with this little one was that road trip coming home. Remember, I stole her, right. put her in a trash bag, brought her to the car, little kitten. We put her in one of those like boxes that have like the open handles, those cardboard boxes, make sure there was tons of air for her to breathe. We put one of those giant Webster's dictionary on the top so she couldn't get out midway through this little one, literally pop the top off the box, escaped, runs around, gets in the steering wheel console, climbs right up in there, 
<laughs> we had to go to the latest uh, Wawa, which is like a quick check with sandwiches, get Tuna to bribe her to get out. I hear a so lot now, of Wawa up in the Northeast, I'm telling you. Oh, it's amazing. If you're a coffee drinker, whoo, you're missing out. <laughs> they even have a Wawa in Vegas, apparently, just for people who are like, like from the Northeast. Really? They also have a White Castle there, but this is kind of not the point. Of this. Oh. Anyways. White um, Castle is no, no, no. Wait, that wait, might be cat meat. We don't even know. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like White Castle? No, no, no White Castle. I mean, it's great drunk food after you're drinking, but it'll give it you a whole hangover in and of itself. I mean, a food hangover like and not the good kind. All right, we're gonna just have to disagree to disagree because I love white. <laughs> we're not gonna go there. Anyway, um, <laughs> you are missing out. Anyways, um, creep show. I know you're you're a streamer here on the app. Is there anything that you would like to plug? I know you have hashtag autism awareness. Is there anything you got the floor? The the floor is yours for the next however long you need because I don't think our next guest is here. So <laughs> take as much. Uh oh. Do you like the plug? <laughs> what would you like to talk about? Um floor is I do not have a plug. I'm going to leave Reese's alone because I think she's a little overtired with the camera going on right now. Um, I'm new to streaming, basically. I've been doing it for three months, and like everybody else, you know, I think the pandemic happened, and those that of us that are normally very social lost out on that. Um, I try to keep my streams fun, positive, uh, no negativity. If anybody's having any kind of problem, I'm, I'm a goofball. I make fun of myself. I, I I'm always smiling and giggling and everything like that. So if you just want to come by and smile or have a problem and you want to try to get over it, then yeah, stop by. <laughs> Everyone's welcome. And I can't miss peace. Thank you for that. Uh, I can attest you guys creep show. Can, like guys, look at, first of all, she is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But I can tell you just from my limited react interaction with her she is a sweetheart and she's just as beautiful on the inside too she is super nice to every i've only been in her stream once i don't know why but she's been in my stream plenty of times and she's very very i'm gonna try to be better guys i tell you guys oh she's eating the cat grass now i love she's decided to jump on and eat cat grass this is this is <laughs> the extra this is the extra scenes this is the these are the deleted scenes <laughs> But guys, yeah, please favorite Miss Ke Miss Creep Show here. She's awesome. She's been in my stream several times. She's a very good people. She's very nice. She's very easy to talk to. Um, so y'all please hit her with the favorite, guys. Um, like I said, she's really, really nice. Um, and I've enjoyed having her in my stream, guys. I tell you guys, I don't spend a whole lot of time in my in, in people's live streams, guys. I come, I gift, I leave. I, that's just what I do. It's like my love life. I come, I go, I leave, I'm, I'm done. It's just what it is. Um, that's a joke, by the way, guys. Hit me with the LOL in the comment section. Come on now. That was a joke. Is it though? Is it really? Yes, I'm not been before. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, my first time. Guys, I'm my whole my whole existence is to make you guys laugh. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this, guys. But guys, on all seriousness, please hit her with a favorite. Um, she's a really, really nice lady, and she's she does a great job, and she's going to be really welcoming. So, and we we support that here on the stream. We support that here at Moment. Absolutely, well. and thank you so much for having me on here, anytime, me and Reese's. Anytime, creep show. We love you. We, you're awesome. You're awesome. Absolutely. So, thank you I'm so much. Pop out guys. of the box. We do technically have a third guest. Um, I'm hoping he's here. I'm hoping he's here because we're going to um, see some. Is Taj here? Taj, Adrian, thank you for the car. Taj, are you here, buddy? Are you here? I'm hoping Taj is here. If not, thank you, Adrian. We do have a plan B. We always, he's not here yet. Um, well, that's okay. That's okay. That Miss Peace, I appreciate the rock. I have never had the Rocket Man gifted me. I haven't had the Rocket Man since um, what was it, the the DeLorean wheel? So thank you. But before we get to our last segment of the day, Mystery Mom, what time is it? What time is it, Mystery Mom? That's right. It's time for Pet of the Week. Now, guys, every week on my Instagram on Wednesday, you can vote for a Pet of the Week, and this time for the first time ever. This time, for the first time ever, we put against two animals who are actually in the same animal shelter. So this week, we had 
two dogs that were in the same animal shelter in Lubbock, Texas. And this week, the dog that won, let me pull them up, is the one we had Barkley versus Stella. Now, guys, Stella and Barkley, were vo- you were able to vote for them on my Instagram or whoever was uh, pet of the week. Adrian, much love to you. Girl, come t- hit me in the DMs or on my uh, Snapchat or Instagram. I-, I can talk to you out off the stream about that. Um, this was the most lopsided victory I've ever had on pet of the week. This pet dominated the other pet in pet of the week. This pet spanked the other pet in pet of the week. And this week's pet of the week is Stella. Guys, this is Stella. Stella is a Husky German Shepherd mix. Look at those eyes. I know. Look at those eyes. Let me turn down the brightness so you can see it even better. Look at Stella's eyes. She's so cute. How can you not like Stella? So let me tell you a little bit about Stella. If you guys are in the West Texas area or anywhere near West Texas, Stella is available for adoption and needs. She she is in a kill shelter, guys. She is in a kill shelter. So if she doesn't get she doesn't get adopted, you know what that can mean. So um, let me pull her back up. I lost her. Yes, it's. I usually try to pull uh, pull uh, no kill shelters, but I could not say no to Stella and Barkley. Let me tell you a little bit about Stella. Um. Okay. So Stella is located at uh, Lubbock Animal Control at Southeast Loop 289 in Lubbock, Texas. She is a friendly, fun-loving puppy. She does well with other pets as well as um, other people. She does well with kids and adults of all ages. Um, She is, like I said, she's a Siberian Husky and German Shepherd mix. She is a female. Her name is Stella, and she's looking for a good home. So, guys, if you are interested in adopting Stella, the number is 806-775-2057. That's 806-775-2057. Now, I got to give a big shout out to the big 806 because I went to college in Lubbock, Texas. So I used to have an 806 phone number way back in the day. But then I was like, I got to represent my hometown. So I went to back to Dallas. So um, this is Stella. If you would like to adopt Stella again, guys, animal, uh, the animal shelter of Lubbock, Texas available. What's that now? Lubbock. Yes. L-U-B-B-O-C-K. That's where I went to school. Recom Tech, Texas Tech Red Raiders. Um, Yeah. So if you're interested in adopting Stella, uh, go to Lubbock Animal Shelter and give them a call or Google them. All right. Last chance is our last guest Taj Mahal here. Taj Mahal was scheduled. He's not here. That's okay. That's okay. I always have a plan B and a plan Z. Mystery Mom, I think since we have enough time, we're pretty close to the end here. I'm going to save you for uh, a future uh, date. Is that okay? In case we end with a little bit more time. So, guys, I always have a plan B and a plan Z. And this week's plan C is animal trivia so y'all are in luck because the person who gets the most answers correctly is going to get a prize i can't say what the prize is because it's against meet me terms of service to say what it is but if you get no i don't have a wife um i don't even have a girlfriend i don't even have a match on hinge for god's sake help me out anyways all right and the girl on tinder unmatched me all right. Dang it, Kelly with an eye. What did I do wrong? Anyways. All right. So we are going to go until 11 or 12, 13. We, uh, it's, it's 1202 right now. We're going to 12, 13 and whoever gets the most questions, right? Again, this is not multiple choice. So, Hey, creep show. Thank you. Uh, whoever gets the most questions, right? We'll get a prize in their DMS. All right. Question one, what is the slowest animal in the world? You have 10 seconds to comment. 
Rockets. What is the we the first person to get? Damn, I thought this was gonna be hard. Okay, Rocket Scientist was the first one to get it right with sloth. That is correct. The three, it's technically the three toad sloth, but I will accept sloth. All right. Again, it's the first person who gets it right. So, um, all right. The second question: A snail can sleep without waking up for how long? A snail can sleep without waking up for how long? We got two days, four days. Dawson with the answer. Wow. Now, he, he didn't even have time to Google that. How did you know that, Dawson? Three years. A snail can sleep without waking up for three years. That's impressive. All right. So right now, the score is Dawson 1, uh, Rocket Science 1. Okay. So for the first few weeks of a baby mouse's life, they feed on what? What do baby mice feed on for the first few weeks of their life? We have cheese. We have milk. That's right. Jamie got the first, got it right. Their mother's milk is the first, is the, she was the first one to get it right. That is the correct answer. Music back. Thank you for the favorite. All right. Guys, listen carefully. Let's see how, mu how much you listened when you were in grade school. A group of lions is known as a what? Bexy! Bexy! Guys, wow, this is a four-way tie. That's right, a pride. Bexy was the first one there. So we have Ann Rocket Science one, Dawson one, Jamie one, and Bexy one. Wow, guys, y'all are going to make this easy. All right. Now, let's see who can get this one. I don't think any of y'all are going to get this one. How many heart chambers does a cockroach have? How many chambers? Do Bexy! Whoa, Bexy taking the lead. Twelve. Tw Bexy, did you really know that or did you guess? Did you really get know that or did you guess? Bexy was right with twelve. Bexy, did you really know that or did you guess? I'm just curious. All right. That's not for me. Okay, well, all right, Bexy. Damn, okay. All right. What part of the six legs of an ant are the legs attached to? What part of the body are the six legs attached to? What are, is that part of the body called? Rocket science right away with the answer. Thorax. That's right. The legs are attached to thorax. All right. We've got Bexy with two, and we've got rocket science with two. We've also got Dawson and Jamie with one each. Y'all guys, this is anybody's game. Anybody's game. We've got a lot of people with animal knowledge here. Now, guys, get your answers in quickly for this one because this one is a very easy one. So get your fingers ready over your keyboards because here it comes. What bird is the universal symbol of peace? What bird is the universal symbol of peace? Les, Les got it right. Y'all, not the eagle. No, 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 no. The dove. The dove is the universal symbol of peace. Less. Les is the one who got it right. Congratulations, Les. You are now in the running. Very, very, very good. All right, that's okay, guys. We still got six minutes left. We still got six minutes left. All right. True or false? Oh, this one's going to be easy. True or false? Rabbits are born blind. True or false? And there's Bexy. I saw what the very first answer that's right it's true rabbits are actually born blind and they develop sight a little bit later into their uh development bexy is all in the head with three but guys nobody has more than three so it's anybody's game here all right Ooh, i want to see who gets this one right i'm i'm gonna guess that nobody's gonna get if somebody gets this one right i'm gonna be suspicious all right which animal has the highest blood pressure which animal has the highest blood pressure we have dog cow hummingbird no nope. elephant no nope. cow chimpanzee haven't seen the right answer yet single princess single princess got it right with giraffe that's correct that is correct 
Giraffes have the highest blood pressure of all the animals. Why? I don't know. Just a mom. That is a little bit above my pay grade. All right. There is one animal known in existence that never sleeps. What is it? What is the one animal that never sleeps? Not the bat. Nope. Shark sleep. Nope. Lion sleep. Whale. Nope. Haven't seen it yet. Fish. Nope. Fish sleep. Sleep. Owl sleep. Sloth sleep. Sloth actually sleeps. Octopus sleep. More. More does sleep. Not very much, but he does. Thank you, Allie. Worms. That's it. Just a mom. The bullfrog never sleeps. The bullfrogs, net, that's right. So, wow, just a mom. Pull it out, okay? We have Bexie in the lead with three. We've got a, several people with two. Who's going to get this prize, guys? Who's going to prize? All right, yes or no, guys? You have a 50-50 chance with this one. Yes or no? You have a 50-50 chance with this one. Do sponges... Sp Braves, Braves already said yes. I fucking did. Oh, I'm not allowed to say the F word. It's a feature show. I'm dead. I'm dead. Um, do sponges, sponges, Daisy, Daisy. I tried to get you to fill in tonight. Anyways, that's okay. We, I love you, Daisy. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Do sponges, the uh, anemone that lives in the sea, do sponges have hearts? Yes or no? Get your answers in. We have yes, yet yeah, no is the correct answer and that goes to monkey bootang monkey bootang with the answer getting her first point guys we have three minutes left let's keep moving i don't even know what this is but we're i'm going to ask the question what is the color of an ocelot what is the color of an ocelot haven't seen it yet nope i don't even know what the hell an ocelot is Orange, no. Tan, yet. Red, no. No. Red, no. Purple, no. I haven't seen it yet. Tricolor, no. Pink, no. Black, no. Gray, no. I haven't seen it yet. Blue, no. No. It's a fairly common color. I can't believe. There it is. Emma Dog with her first point. Yellow. Could anybody tell me what an ocelot is? I don't even know. You said yellow? Let me scroll up. Who, who said yellow first? Somebody help me out. I didn't see anyone say yellow. That... Let me scroll up. Oh, you're right, Lex. You did say yellow. You're right. I apologize. I apologize. All right. So Lex has a point. The brown banded and wood male cockroaches can fly and not the females. True or false? Bexy with the true. Bexy's pulling out. All right. We're going to keep going, guys, because we have two minutes left. What's the smallest fit? Oh, <laughs> Ain't none of y'all going to get this because this is big, long name. Okay. If any of y'all get this, y'all are cheating. All right. What is the smallest fish in the world? What is – y'all ain't going to get this. Ain't – nope, no. This is – this is like the – I can't even pronounce this fish. It's like this really – y'all are going to have to Google this. Somebody, you know what? Whoever is the first one to Google this and get it in the comment section right now is going to get the point. Because they ain't no, there it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Lex with the pedocrypus. What the heck is a pedocrypus? All right, let's keep going. A mandrill, A M A N D R I L L, is what type of creature? A mandrill is what? There it is, Bexy. Bexy, Bexy, Bexy. All right, Bexy. Bexy pulled out in the lead. Guys, she has five. I don't think anyone's going to catch her. Y'all all did amazing. Every single one of y'all did an amazing job. And if everyone who got a point, every one of y'all commented single princess. Bexy, Dawson, just fireflies. Uh, Lex, rocket scientist. Uh, just a mom, Emma. Uh, if you got a point correct, say, say me in the comment section right now. Say me in the comment section. So Rocket Science is Les, Dawson, Jamie, Single Princess, Just a Mom, Lex, Kim Possible, Kurt, Bexy, K. Uh, <laughs> James Blonde Mom said, nope, not me. Uh, all right. So um, Bexy, 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 say hi real quick. Bexy, say hi real quick. There you are. Okay. So blah, blah, blah. 
blah, blah, blah. All right. All right, Bexy, check your inbox. I did give you a small token. It's not much, but it's a little bit something. It's a thousand diamond gift here from the More Miserable stream. Thank you for playing. Um, yes, I gave a thousand, thousand diamond gift. So uh, I, I, I'm not supposed to even announce it, guys, but whatever. All right, guys, thank you for tuning into Pet Profiles. We're going to be back next week. Now, before we go, I have got to plug this. Next week, oh, my God, I'm so excited. Next week. Something is happening on Pet Profiles that is going to rock your world. It's something that has never, I want everyone to say ever right now. Never. I want ever. Say ever in the chat. Ever been done on a featured show before. Now, I will be announcing the secret. There's going to be a giant secret. That apparently Kim Possible knows about. And don't you any of y'all try to get the information from her because she has been sworn to secrecy. But Kim is the only one who knows about it. None of y'all. Actually, there is one other person who knows about it. But if I told you about it, it would give it away. But this is something that has never, ever been done on the history of featured content on the Meet Group featured show app. It's never been done. I will be revealing what that secret is on Tuesday. But make sure you tune in next to, next Wednesday at, I know, uh, Andrew's cat that he apparently kidnapped. Just kidding, Andrew. We love you. Um, next week, guys, 11 p.m. Eastern. Do not want to miss Pet Profiles. Guys. I'm telling you, this is the coolest, most revolutionary thing that we've ever done on this app. It is going to be, it's going to change your world. I think, honestly, guys, it's so, it's such a big deal. It's such a, <gasps> Miss Peace, thank you. It's a game changer. It's such a big deal. Thank you. It's such a big deal that after we do it next week, I think everyone's going to be doing it. And everyone's going to be like, more. How the hell did I not think about this? Until next time, guys, remember, guys, it's easy to be kind and it costs nothing to, to, to be nice to other people. So treat other people with love. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Let me look really good before I sign off. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, come on. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, treat other people with love. Guys, remember, tune in to, to Pet Profiles next week at 11 p.m. Eastern. 8 p.m. Pacific, same pet time, same pet station. Mwah. Guys, you don't want to miss it. Trust me. Love you guys. See you all next time.